At this time, would Judge Hatchett please come forward again? We would like to thank Judge Hatchett for her lecture at this, our first annual Heritage Convocation. Let's give her a round of applause. At this time, our Academic Heritage Award will be presented to Dr. Don Zell Lee. He didn't know anything about this, so you, you didn't read far enough in the program. <laughs> Come on up. Dr. Lee began his career here in the Department of Fine Arts many years ago. I won't say what year. Uh, in 1984, he became the directors of the Honors Curriculum, and in fact, uh, Dr. Lee is actually the first Alkanite I ever met. I was Southern Region Vice President of Southern Region's Honors Council, and he was on the, uh, Nash you were both National Collegiate Honors and Southern Region Honors, and when everyone was running around uh, SHRC saying Alcorn, he and about a bus of 40 Alkanites would say, it is always all corn. <laughs> uh, Dr. Lee is a member of the NASM, National Association of Schools of Music, Sachs Association of, Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. He holds degrees from Xavier University, Stanford University, and LSU. His reputation and his bio is lengthy. But what is important and why we honor him is because Dr. Lee has served on three, that's 30 years, three of our Sachs reaffirmation committees. And he chaired the last two Sachs reaffirmation committees. And we are proud to announce today that under Dr. Lee's leadership, we have now been reaffirmed without fault for another 10 years. And we thank you, Dr. Lee. Alcorn is an agricultural institution, uh, and we are so honored and pleased uh, that for many years we have been the recipient of 1890 and land grant funds, and our Agricultural Heritage Award, and nobody, none of the awardees knew what was going on, so they all good and shocked, uh, will be presented to Dr. N. Joyce Payne. Will Dr. Payne come forward? Dr. Payne uh, is an alum of the former District of Columbia Teachers College. She earned master's and doctorate degrees from Atlanta University. She holds honorary doctorates from Delaware State University, Lincoln University of Missouri, Lincoln University of Pennsylvania, Kentucky State University, and the University of the District of Columbia. She served on the Board of Trustees of UDC for nine years, two years as chair of the board. She is the former Vice President of the Office for the Advancement of Public Black Colleges at the National Association of State Colleges and Land Grant Universities, and was very much responsible for the agricultural growth of this institution during the Walter Washington and Clinton Bristol years. She is the founder of the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund, which funds many of our students at Alcorn State University. <laughs> Our Athletic Heritage Award goes to a native of Macomb, Mississippi. I'm going to call him Lad. I'll, just, I'll make you sit and wait till I finish talking, rat. Because if I let him too close, he's going to try to take the microphone. So. Uh, come on up, Willie Rat McGowan. Come on. Willie Rat McGowan Sr. earned his bachelor's degree right here at Alcorn State University in 1961. 
He furthered his education at the University of Georgia and Kansas before earning a master's degree from Kansas State University. He is a four-year letterman in football. He served as team captain in 1960 and 61. He was the Little All-American Award winner in 1958, which was his freshman year. He held all-conference honors each of his four seasons and was named the team most valuable player. He is the first Jack Spinks Award recipient in 1959. He was instructor at Central High School in Liberty, Mississippi, and assistant football coach before eventually being named athletic director, head football coach, track and field, and baseball coach all at the same time. <laughs> In his 25-year stint in service to Alcorn, he helped guide the Braves to nine SWAC championships and four National Black College championships. In addition to his football duties, he split his duties as head baseball coach and earned four SWAC Coach of the Year awards in 1976, 1979, 1981, and 1988 as well as four Eastern Division Championships and one Eastern Division Tournament Championship. In 1998, he was inducted into the Alcorn State Sports Hall of Fame and is known throughout as the Dean of Baseball Coaches and the SWAT. We honor this morning Dr. Mr. Willie Rat McGowan. Long before I joined Alcorn State University, I wrote a dissertation on the Ayers case in Mississippi. And this morning, we, or, we recognize an organization uh, that was instrumental in the Ayers litigation and the life of black higher education in Mississippi. Coming before us to receive the award on the behalf of the Mississippi Coalition on Black Higher Education is its president, Dr. Ivory Phillips. The Mississippi Coalition of Black, on Black Higher Education is an umbrella organization of faculty, students, and alumni of Alcorn State University, Jackson State University, and Mississippi Valley State University. In 1975, when Jake Ears, the father of a college student, claimed that black colleges in Mississippi had been neglected in their funding, this group joined forces to make sure that we would get our just due. Uh, they worked alongside the litigants and the appellants to make sure that the settlement was as fair as possible. Yet they expressed reasonable and righteous discontent with the $508 million. And in January of 2010, when a merger was presented to merge all three black institutions into Jacob State, the Mississippi Coalition on Black Higher Education once again raised their head and declared that this merger would relate in downsizing that would continue whether the merger happened or not. And in fact, the president wrote, and I quote, it is a terrible idea that will diminish educational opportunities for African Americans in Mississippi. I know it plans for Jackson State to have a dominating position in the merger, but I'm not interested in Jackson State having a dominating position. I'm looking at the overall picture of educational opportunities. And so today, Alcorn State University recognizes them with this Access Heritage Award. At this time, we'd like to make two special presentations. The first, how many of you enjoyed the organ music this morning? Uh, what you are listening to is a brand new Hammond B3 with a Leslie speaker. Uh, and I was in the foundation board meeting, uh, our development fundraising board meeting, and I said, I love the chapel, we're trying to make the Allen talk, you know how we do in church. I said, the, but it just don't talk back to me. I said, we need a Hammond. 
uh, and Marcus Ward and Donzel Lee had done the work and uh, that organ was going to cost us in excess of $10,000. And without a second breath, Mr. Robert D. Gage and his family stepped up to purchase our brand new organ. Mr. Gage, would you come forward? Before I announce uh, the appointment of our new faculty person, I would ask a very special guest, an Alkanite in his own right, uh, former mayor of Fayette, Mississippi, to join me on stage, Mr. Charles Evers. We don't get Mr. Evers on campus much, and so the, the foundation wants to make a presentation. Mr. Evers, uh, for having taken on the mantle of your brother's leadership as the head of the NAACP in Mississippi, being the first mayor, black mayor of a biracial town of Fayette, Mississippi, and your leadership here at Alcorn, some of it troubling in the, in the old days. Some <laughs> folks know what I'm talking about. Mr. Evers probably led the first uh, demonstration by students, I think, uh, on this campus so many years ago. And uh, on behalf of the Alcorn Foundation and the things that you and I have done together uh, when I worked in Washington, uh, we're pleased to present you with this basket as a token of our appreciation for all your service. <laughs> We are also pleased this morning to have with us the former Regional Director of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. You coming up? Ms. Juanita Sims Doty, would you please come forward? Mrs. Doty, we thank you for being a great friend and ally of Alcorn. You've been there supporting us and Dr. Brown and all of his endeavors uh, from Chicago <laughs> all the way down to the uh, birthday celebration last week. You are a dear friend and a valued partner with Alcorn State University, and we're honored today to present you with this gift basket as a token of our appreciation. And this morning, for those of you who have not heard, we are pleased to announce and welcome Alcorn State University's first distinguished scholar in residence, none other than Mrs. Murley Beasley Evers. <laughs> 